Welcome back to the channel everyone, Nova Zane on the mic. As you know, Kefla is a staple on this channel, but she hasn't gotten anything new recently. The only significant change is the one to her new 2H. So here's a quick guide going over its effects. 2H's distance moved now changes with a forward input, which can be done by pressing 2H then holding forward or pressing a 3H. Here's how the regular 2H looks like. And here's the new 3H. In neutral, it doesn't really change much. You still want to use 2H to anti-air because 3H's horizontal adjustment doesn't really help. Unless if it's grounded super dashes to challenge key blast or something. But it does modify her combos and pressure slightly. On hit, inputting 3H and slightly delaying your super dash always side switches. This cannot be done with regular 2H. This is helpful to get back to the corner whenever you want. But it's not that useful on skilled combos due to Kevla's great corner carry anyways. And since the 3H route does do less damage. It can even be helpful to get out of the corner for specific setups. So it gives Kefla a more consistent side switch route which she didn't really have access to before. Now onto her pressure. Normally mid screen 2H always lifts after 5H and 5S. It can land after M's and in the corner though. Whiffing the 2H on purpose can be useful as pressure baits with assist, but the range does limit its usage. However, with 3H, it can always connect whenever you want after 5H or 5S. The only exception is 5H, 5S, 3H mid screen, but there are no issues in the corner. So we can get into more options now. After seeing Kefla being airborne, many people instinctively block high. So the low layer becomes an effective load to continue pressure. It gives you an additional frame trap option after using 5H. It can be a bit hard to confirm a hit versus a block though. This is especially useful in the corner when you can 5H 5S. People are more willing to challenge after 5S if they already see you using your 5H frame trap as I'll expect a reset and not expect another strong frame trap option. Remember you can always use her layered as a low frame trap even after 3H as long as it's early enough. The extended range also allows you to get into her 2H J214S mixups as shown in my mixups guides if you're a fan of those as well. This isn't a big pressure change but does make her pressure patterns more consistent and gives her a bit more options now. Doesn't really alter the character though. Thanks for watching this quick video, I hope you learned something new since I did receive some comments asking about this. And I'll see y'all next time.